Hey, it's John, your Gen X grandpa, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable and use Find Your Tablet. This is a feature for the Amazon Fire tablets, and it can be used in the event that you lose your tablet or misplace your tablet or whatever. There's a lot of features in this, so I couldn't slip it into a short video. Um, so that's why I'm uploading this on Sunday when I would normally upload a regular shorts video. So to start with, you're going to need to go into the settings on your tablet. And you do that by swiping down from the top, tapping the settings cog. And then you want to tap device options. And from there, you want to make sure that find your tablet is switched on. Now, once you've enabled find your tablet, if you lose your tablet, you can go to the Amazon website and there are a couple of things that you can do to attempt to find it. And there are some things that you can do if you can't find it. So let's jump over to our web browser and take a look at that. Okay, so here we are on the Amazon website and you're going to need to log in, obviously. And once you've logged in, just go ahead up here and click where it says hello and then your name and and that will take you to this page here where you can click on digital services and device support and then click on manage devices now i have multiple fire tablets so i'm going to click here and i'm going to click the tablet that i want to find and you can see over here on the right, I have the option to click Find Your Tablet. I'm going to click that. And if the tablet is connected to Wi-Fi, it will show up on a map. Now, it would normally be a little bit more zoomed in than this, but for privacy reasons, I've zoomed way out. So that'll give you an idea of whether or not it's in your house or if it was left somewhere. Now, if it shows up on the map, we have a few more things that we can do. We can click more actions here and we can enable a remote alarm. Now, this is helpful because if it's in your house or if it's in the house of someone that you know, you can actually contact that person and ask them to listen for the alarm. So let's enable the alarm and see what happens. Now we're going to click Start Alarm. And you can hear the alarm going off. And you can tap on the screen in order to turn off the alarm. So the benefit of turning on a remote alarm is that if the device is in your house or if it's in someone's house that you're able to call and have them listen for the alarm, you can enable it and someone can find it for you. Now let's say you can't find the device. It's not showing up on the map. You're not hearing the alarm. Whatever may happen. We have a few more options open to us. Let's go back to our browser. So we're going to click on more actions again. And now we have the option to remote lock the device. So let's say when you did find your tablet, you left it at the Y and you want to make sure that the device stays locked. You can now click Remote Lock, and at this point you can enter a one-time pin, and you'll enter this pin, and the only way to unlock it is if this one-time pin is enabled. So we're going to put in 5567, and we're going to confirm that, 5567, and lock the device. Now my device is locked and when I attempt to unlock the device, I get a message that tells me I need to enter a one-time pin because the device has been remotely locked. So I'll enter that remote pin and unlock my device. Now let's say we've done the find my tablet, we've used the remote alarm, we've done the remote lock, we still haven't been able to find our tablet. There's one other thing that we can do and that is to factory reset the device remotely. So again, we're back at our device summary screen here again. We're going to click more actions 
and we're going to select Remote Factory Reset. Once we select the Remote Factory Reset, we're going to get a warning that says that this is not reversible and that you can no longer manage this device with your Amazon account. This is kind of a last ditch effort and you only want to do this if you know for sure you're not going to be able to recover the device or maybe you left it at a hotel on vacation and it's going to be a few weeks before you can get it back. You don't want your device sitting around. So as soon as this device connects to a Wi-Fi network, it will receive the instructions to do a factory reset and remotely reset itself. So there's how you enable find your tablet and manage all those different options that you have from just locating it to setting alarms and actually resetting, locking and resetting the device. If this video helped you, I'd appreciate a like. And as always, I look forward to hearing from you in the comments if you have any questions. If there's any way that you can support me, I'd appreciate it if you'd go over to buymeacoffee.com slash John Wilkerson and throw a few bucks my way. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.